Hello, good evening, or good morning po kaya kayo nga uh, mga kapamilya. Um, pasensya na kayo po nung iyakman masyadong makapakyabe, uh, kinkaya katamong devotion. Uling pa uli na po ning time na, na gap pa mo. At king schedule po medyo mo busy po. Uh, pero in po sa kaisipan ko, laging atsukeng kaya kayo. Um, ngayon pong kaurasan, uh, may assign dyan po ka na ako yung topic ng Simon the Zealot or yung Tagalog Simon Pakabayan na yung teksto mayaki tsaka Matthew, Mark, Luke at King Acts po. Uh, nino i Simon Makabayan? Uh, meto niya ka rin pangunahing alagad tapot eya po masyadong mababanggit kalupada ring aliwang uh, labing aduang alagad alaya po masyadong role kimpang alagad ng Jesus ing tutu apat siyang beses ang may banggit ing lagyo na karing uh, sinulat king ebanghelyo uh, kang look kang Mateo uh, verse 10 to verse chapter 10 to to 4 at kang Marcos um, chapter 3 16 to 19 at kang Luke naman chapter 6 14 to 16 at king Acts mo rin po verse at uh, chapter 1 verse 1 to 13 Mm, nung lawin tala alala tala alakang latang akit king ebanghelyo nung nanong malino gewana ing mong akit tamo abiyabe ya kay ing kayang lagyo ka ring labing aduang alagad uh, e eh, napuburing sabihan na may nayang klasing alagad isimo isim isimon uh, isimon metong yang mahulagang alagad ng Yesus Uling po tong mabanggit la lagyo ding labing adwa makabanggit siya naman po lagyo King Luke uh, King Lucas kapitulo 1 uh, versikulo 1 hanggang 13 may banggit siya po lagyo Nung nano man ning gewado ding alagad abe ya karing gagawa mapalyaring metong ya namang leader king iglesia uh, mi talakad king Jerusalem Uh, mig uh, search ko rin po nung nino e, e Simon the Zealot yung pang uh, akit po po king kayang story is like is makanina po the Zealot uh, were one of the little known followers of Jesus who were also known as the Kana, Kana, Kananites or Zealots The Zealots also lived in Galilee, and Simon the Zealot was one of them. The Zealots were fanatical Jewish nationalists who completely disregarded the suffering and struggle involved for what they regarded. As the purity of their faith, the Zealots had immense hatred from the Romans, and it was this hate that destroyed the city of Jerusalem. Josephus records that the zealots were reckless people and were zealous in good practice. Not much personal information is known about Simon the Zealot. But from the background of the, of the solids, one can understand that he was a fanatical nationalist He had immense devotion to the law, a bitter hatred for evil who drug compromise, compromise with Rome. Simon emerged as a man of faith. He gave up all his hatred from the faith he had in his master and the love he was willing to share with the fellow disciples and especially Matthew, the Roman tax collector. There was a time when Simon Zealot would have killed anyone in loyalty to Israel. He became a man who understood 
that God will accept no, no for service. Simon the Zealot, who died a martyr, and his apostolic symbol is a fish lying about that he was a fisherman who later became a fisher of men through preaching. And nung lawin tayo po in nung nano ing implikasyon kaya katamo kasalukuyan ing bien ng Simon Makabayan um, na sika ina akakiko po na sika pantamo ing lagyung lagyu tamo or ing pamilya Riberia ning kwento lading ginawang kayapan king kaya katamong baryo patang mababanggit ye ing lahi tamo o ing layo tamo uh, mumuna po uh, pwede kaya pong maging sample na uh, uh, Simon Mac, Simon Makabayan i, iapong imon na maging um, kapitanya king kaya katamong baryo at makanyan mo rin po iapong junior na maging kapitan niya rin king uh, baryo tamo batang uh, na na maging tapat king pamanuyo at at the same time tapat la king, kare, king kayang iglesia na si nuyo mo rin king kayang iglesia and so na mm, pwede tala pong maging maging uh, sample ng uh, Simon Makabayan uh, like ikya katamong uh, kapitan ng Yenimurin na metong yang manong kulan na akakit mo nung gaano ya ka kasipag ka uh, devoted king kayang pamanong kulan uh, nagagawa na nga hing kayang um, hing kayang agyo para ikaw ang lading bayan hing kayang baryo at makanyan mo rin po hing kayang kayang karelang um, iglesia hing kayang katoliko uh, anapin po as mm, sika manatiling makabayang gang nuka ring tamaraton maging masigasig tamo king pamanyaw lalo ka rin mangailangan e mo itang tutol tamo king etaburi ing gagawa na ni pamalan nunigawan tamo ing nanu ing makakayat king pamahalaan mas masanding nanu nanu ing buri na ni ginu iye ing gawan tamo uh, anak nga napin po king uh, Micah uh, verse 6 to 8 Itinuro na niya sa iyo kung ano ang mabuti. Ito ang nais ni Yahweh, maging makatarungan ka sa lahat ng bagay. Patuloy mong mahalin ang iyong kapwa at buong pagpapakumbaba sumunod ka sa iyong Diyos. Nung mangditak mo ing agawa tamo, sikapan tamo, gawan tamo, gewata mo gewata yang tapat at makahulugan at mak, at makalu, at lugod yaking gino ah uh, bayo ke po arian ni pamo bule bule tamo ah uh, buri ke mo pong i-share ing sinabi ng Father Jerry Orbos na na pakaisipan yan think about this as we grow older our main goal in life must not be happiness but godliness not reputation but character not wealth but virtue not fame but faith not approval of men but approval of our creator have a blessed day in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen